Happy Thanksgiving. You know, I say Happy Thanksgiving because gratitude always brings a certain amount of joy, right? We're grateful because our hearts are filled with blessings. So a Happy Thanksgiving fits perfectly. At the same time, I know this Thanksgiving is different from, I think, every other Thanksgiving in living memory. And some people are not so happy because they're apart from their loved ones. And I know that's painful. But I want you to know that the beauty of our faith is that even when we are physically separated from one another, even when we're separated by death from one another, we're all connected in the mystical body of Christ, the church. And so that's the beautiful thing. The love of Christ, which conquers sin and death, that love transcends anything that divides us and keeps us together. So for anyone who is alone on Thanksgiving Day, you're not alone. We're with you. We're united in spirit. For anyone who is sad that there's some separation from loved ones, some disruption for, for those beautiful family traditions that go with this holiday, offer up those sufferings, please. Uh, our world is hurting. There, there's a lot of brokenness. And you and I can offer our sacrifices, our pains, and give those to the Lord and say, Lord, bring your peace. Lord, bring your healing uh, to, to what the world needs right now. And if you find yourself at odds, because I know this is happening in families where people have drawn the lines differently and, and we, we, we feel hurt by it, that, that, that someone else has drawn that line of, of what their boundary that they're comfortable with, with these health precautions is different than, than where I'm drawing the line. I just ask you to stop and think for a moment. I think the most, the most important thing for us right now is not to let all of these things divide us to have peace in our hearts. And so I'd like to propose to you a way to do that. Start with a recognition. Each one of us has to decide for ourselves what we're comfortable with in these very strange times. Give people the respect, their autonomy, to be able to draw that line where they prayerfully think it needs to be drawn. And then let's respect one another with that. So don't take it as a personal rejection. If grandma says, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving, it's not because grandma doesn't love you. It's not because grandma doesn't want to see you. Grandma's drawn a line about what is a, an appropriate boundary for her. She has to do that for herself. And we need to respect it. So I think that's the way to keep peace in our families, not to take things personally, but have that beautiful respect for one another in however we draw those lines and to know above all, we're united in the heart of Christ. That love that he pours into our hearts, that unites us. And thank God for technology that sometimes is a headache and sometimes uh, can lead us into distractions or worse, but it also has a beautiful beneficial effect when we are separated physically that we can use the means of technology to connect with one another. So I just thank God for you and who you are and being part of our spiritual family here at Holy Family. I thank you for your patience and understanding. I have to tell you uh, that you know over two decades into my priesthood, I did not think that I'd have to be reinventing what parish life looks like. So so thanks for all of your understanding as we do some trial and error about what works to, to try and keep parish life moving forward, to, to meet your spiritual needs. Uh, thank you for being a witness in our world to the peace of Christ in a time when the world desperately needs that witness. Know of my gratitude, my prayers for you as we begin Advent this coming weekend, uh, that we have a, a grace-filled Advent Looking forward to the joyful celebration of the birth of our Savior. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving.